Howdy, 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 folks. Welcome back to the Yuan Pizzazz channel. And today we're going to navigate this stupid Premiere Pro update. Well, it's not stupid, it's just different, and we just gotta get used to it. So I thought I would go over where all the important things are, so you can go ahead and export without any worries. Let's go ahead and open up Premiere Pro. So you can still activate the export settings by hitting Command M on your keyboard. For PC users, that is Control M, and we have this new screen. Now, if you really hate this screen and you're like, Cass, I do not want to learn something new, I've got a little hack for you. Go ahead and send the export to Media Encoder instead. Because as of now, Media Encoder has not changed. It is the same export settings. It's just another little extra step. So once it shows up in your Media Encoder, you can go ahead and click here and this will be the exact same export settings that we know and love so if you want to just use the regular stuff use media encoder or maybe just stick to the last version of premiere pro all right let's go back to the update so important things to note here is the file name you can change the file name here call it whatever you want here you can adjust the location so you just click it and then you can decide where to put it i'll decide to put this on my desktop now here's the preset settings, so you can change the quality of your video. I always go with a match source, and then we're going to choose adaptive high bitrate. And then here you can adjust the formats. Again, typical format that we always use is H.264. Oh, hello. When I did that, it adjusted the preset, so I'm going to move this back to match source. Okay, we're cool. That was annoying. Okay, let's open up the video settings. So let's say we want to adjust the frame size. We can unbox these little icons and we can adjust things like frame size, frame rate, and the aspect. Open up audio. You can change the audio format here. Audio codec. Sample rate. You can adjust the channels here as well. You can adjust the bit rate here effects let's say you want to add a lumetri color to the entire video you can go ahead and do that i mean i wouldn't normally do that because i like to color each clip individually but if you want to just stick a filter on there that's how you do it sdr conform it looks like you can adjust the overall brightness and contrast of the video itself but again i like to do that manually in premiere pro Image overlay, this is great for adding a logo on top, so I'm going to go ahead and find my logo. Um, logo on transparent, cool. And then you can adjust the size. I might move it to the top right corner here. These settings are a little glitchy, they're not great. Hopefully they will improve over time. So you can add an image overlay. Here, name overlay, it looks like that you can decide what to name it, but right now it's naming it the name of my sequence here, and you can decide where to position it. I'm gonna just uncheck this, I don't really need that. Time code overlay, time code overlay is great for when you're going back and forth with clients, and you wanna have the time code right there so they know what exact time to give you the feedback at. You can move this to wherever you want. I think those are the main things that you need to know. And then go ahead and hit export in that bottom right corner. Alrighty, and then there it is on my desktop. We did it, folks. We did an export. We used a stupid new system, which we will get used to. Um, but anyways, if you found this video helpful, please give this video a like. I would really appreciate it. And let me know in the comments what kind of videos you would like to see. I will make sure to make them for you because I love you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. Bye!